All right, all right. Thanks for stopping by. So we're coming up this Forest Service Road. We are near Hamilton, Montana. We are currently at about 6,000 feet elevation, and I see some nice views out in the distance. I think our destination campsite is about another mile or two ahead, and I hope we get a view of that snow-capped mountain from our campsite. I guess we'll see when we get there. The temperature is currently between 75 and 80, and there is a slight breeze. Sunny and low humidity. Oh, Montana, what are you doing to me? You're giving me terrific views, beautiful weather. Snow is still on the mountain, and it is late July, one week until August, and there's snow still up there on the mountain. Let's walk up to the ledge. You know what's not here? What Montana doesn't have, Maddie? What? Trash and needles. Oh my gosh, no syringes and no garbage. Montana. Montana and Idaho has been really good about their campers leaving super clean campsites for the next guy. There's the road we came in on and the, it makes a loop here. So we're kind of expecting other people to come up here, you know, and uh, I got we leave them room to turn around and if they choose to park and camp, they can do that too. Because this is free and this is public. And it's first come, first serve, no reservations. But we just found that it would be a good idea to get over here on the edges out of the way. Okay, so I said we were going to walk over to the ledge, didn't I? So what I'm about to do is not for the faint of heart. But don't worry. Don't panic. Because if you're seeing this video, that means I didn't fall off and die. That means I'm okay. I like making videos like this because I'll be able to give you a good perspective of the place. I'm going to give you every angle I can think of here just so you'll understand how it looks because it is always different in person than it is on camera, but I'm going to do my best to give you every view that I can give you. So we'll start over here on the right side of Kevin's van. This is what you see when you look out of his passenger side doors and just wait till we get around to the front peak of this campsite there is a peninsula that's just covered with rock and you can walk out on the peninsula and it overlooks the entire canyon i like this cleft in the rocks here i think kevin said he's going to get his drone out tomorrow and he's going to start the drone here and fly it through this cleft all along the canyon wall and around that peninsula i just told you about and then out over the main valley and uh so be on the lookout on his channel for that drone footage. Okay, so let's uh, continue on around here. Uh, enjoy the views and the tunes, and I'll catch back up with you in just a minute. getting dizzy yet i know these views are incredible but i'm really not being as dangerous as it may look on camera i am walking along the edge but i'm really just sticking my arm out with the camera on my hand so it looks like i'm kind of leaning over the ledge more than i am but i'm being careful i love these little crevices in the rocks like this this is another place that kevin's going to fly the drone through right here i think that's how he's going to start it but i can't wait for him to do that drone footage tomorrow and get it edited 
and uh, get that out there for you. I think you'll love it. Okay, so let's turn around the bend here and let's walk out on that peak that I told you about. This is going to be the money shot right here. Hope you enjoy. This place is going to have to go to the top of the list for views of any campsite I've ever been at. The only other campsite that I can think of that was as close to this, as far as views go, was Mingus Mountain in, I think it's Jerome, Arizona. And I was there back in October of last year. But I think this one tops it. I really do. This is just hard to beat this. We found this place on the satellite map. What you do is you can zoom in and follow the forest road all the way up. And you can zoom in so much that sometimes you can see a fire pit. And sometimes you can actually see other camping vehicles there from the satellite shot where it just happened to take a photo while there was somebody camping there. And that's what we look for. A little clearing. And uh, we also check terrain to see uh, what elevation it's going to be. That's how we found it. We hope to be here for one week, maybe eight days, because I need to completely chill down for one week. Don't spend any money on gas or anything. I'm completely stocked with food, but I am at the end of my budget until the end of the month. So I just want to sit here, be still, enjoy nature, not spend a dime, and catch up with my budget in August and see if I can do a little bit better next month. So we'll turn it around, start heading on back here and give you a view from the campsite coming in from this direction. That way you get a complete scope of what the campsite looks like from both sides. And remember, I compile all of these campsites every four months or so and I do one video where I put them all together and I give you the location of these campsites so you can come and check them out for yourself. So that uh, compilation video will be coming out in probably about another five or six weeks from now. So I hope you enjoyed this video of this beautiful campsite. I mean, this one is it's special. It really is. And I'll check back in with you in a couple of days. Oh, before we go, I got to show you what Rebecca Pence sent me. She sent me a little stuffed puppy. I think I'm going to name him Skippy. He just looks like a Skippy to me. But a big shout out to Rebecca Pence. She does a lot for the channel and for Kevin's channel and for a lot of other YouTubers. She really does a lot of support and she never gets any credit for it. And I think it's time if you see Rebecca Pence in the chats, always say thanks to Rebecca. She does a lot. And this was just a sweet little gift that she sent me. So Buddy's going to have a little friend now. I hear Barrett barking in the background. He probably wants to bite Skippy. He's already bit Buddy. <laughs> he did. We were in uh, California. I was camping with Kevin and Ray Ray from Van Life Rocks. And they were doing a live stream. And I pulled Buddy out for the live stream. And Barrett saw him and snatched him out of my hand. So I got to keep Skippy away from Barrett. <laughs> All right. Take care. Be well. Smash the bell.